You guys know I like Power Watch Simulator. And, okay, this is well done. We can right click and show the dirt. Again, like Power Watch Simulator. But, hey, I mean, I don't, I can't blame him for, for using that model. If it works, use it. And then it turns green when it's done. When that part is clean. Yes. I mean, hey, this game just took on a whole new meaning for me. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off-Road Mechanic Simulator. I don't normally do more than one video on demos, but I want to give this game some more love because I think this game, well, I know this game goes actually goes a little deeper than what I first thought, and I had a good time playing it our first go-around. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go back on the track and see if we can conquer that course. And I also want to show you real quick uh, the upgrade section over here. This is the where we upgrade our garage. And I didn't know this even existed, but uh, to go to up, upgrade our garage to level one, we need one more skill point. We have two points. We need one more skill point, and if you see over here on the right, once we upgrade it, we get to unlock a car wash, another garage space a, with a jack, and one parking slot. So that's really cool. I had no idea that this was uh, we could upgrade a garage. So I'm, I'm really happy about that, excited about that. We could add different things. We could add an oil drainer more storage in our warehouse and a workbench and once we unlock a workbench we can remove rust at level one we can remove rust from parts uh, workbench level two we can replace bushings and workbench three enables advanced repairs so this is again this is deeper than what i thought this game even had so i'm i'm excited to show you guys this and we're going to take this truck out here and see if we can conquer the uh the track this time so let's let's try it again uh, now that i know a little bit more about the game i think we'll do a little better so we only have the force unlocked and we still have our our three tree straps and we still should have yep we've got our winch on there so i think we're good to go so let's see if we can do a little better on the track this time and get through this course all right here we are back on the track and I feel like what I what I was doing wrong the last time we played this was I wasn't giving I wasn't giving enough uh, I wasn't revving the, the motor enough. All right, we should be good to go. Yeah, I think I was just getting bogged down because I wasn't revving it up enough. kind of get stuck a lot. I'm, I'm still going to get stuck. I have no doubt about that. We haven't had to use our four-wheel drive yet. That's what we're going to need to hear, though. This is four-wheel low. Uh -oh. Got a little hot. A little hot. Okay, so I'm using my mouse wheel to, uh, to rev it up. There we go. Little, little forward and backward on the mouse wheel. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Uh oh. All right. Back it up. Back it up. All right. Let's look. Get our get our differential locked in. Do a little rocking. Go do a little rocking. There we go. There we go. Alright. Alright. Don't hit the rock. Oh, he hit the rock. I said don't hit the rock. There we go. There we go. Alright. Feel pretty good about it. Here we 
Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh yeah, just need a little more juice. All right, let's back off, back off. There we go, all right. Okay. There we go. All right, got a big hill coming up, big hill. Easy, easy, easy. We don't want to go off the hill. There you go. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh no, we lost all of our momentum. All right. All right, here we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh my. Oh gosh. Uh, Uh oh, this is ugly. This is a little ugly. <laughs> we got a little high centered. A little high centered. That's okay. All right, let's see if we can back off here. Okay, this might be a problem. Uh, okay, I think this might be a good time. We'll see. Let's put a brake on, and uh, this might be a good time to use our winch gently. We don't need a whole lot. Get back on track. What? What? Well, not let me use my strap here. Guess not. Okay. That's a long ways down. All right. All right. We have to back up. Back off here. Let's see. Take the brake off. Man, I'm really stuck. I mean, I'm stuck bad. Alright, I'm gonna have to go call for a SOS on this one, I think. It's only $100. I'm okay with that. Wait, put the brake on. I don't want to slide down. Four low. Get a differential lock. All right, we can do this. Okay, nice. Careful, careful. Uh oh. Unlock. Unlock. Two. Okay, let's go four high. Oh, that didn't like. Didn't like that. Here we go. This is not an easy course. We're gonna make it though. Strap. I 
the guild leader's user toe strap on this one. Alright. Now we use F to pull, uh, pull in. I think we can get out of this now. I think. Unhook the winch. Pick up the toad. Whoops. Gonna take that back. Pick up my strap. Okay. H. Now, let's see if we can get out of this jam we're in. Alright, I'm gonna call for another SOS. I'm okay with that. Let's see where it puts us at. Here we go. Let's try this again. Uh oh, don't get stuck in the same spot. There we go. Uh oh. Yeah, this is a, didn't know which way I was supposed to go. There we go. Alright. Back off a little. Back off a little. There we go. Nice, okay. Now we're rolling, we're rolling. Come on. Okay, this is the way I'm supposed to go, yeah. Come on. Alright, we need different, uh, different mode here. There we go. Nice. Okay, it's a little unclear where we're supposed to go. Lights on this thing? Oh yeah. The only way I see is to go this way. Is that right? Oh, I see it now. Wow, it's weird. You know, it'd be nice if they had some signage. Get it. Uh oh. Get the rocks. 
Ah, here we go. Ah! Alright, we're gonna try a different gear. Run at it. Uh -oh. Come on, you can do it. All right, I want to. Uh... Come on, you can do it. Oh, so close. Oh, she's getting hot. All right, let's see if we can uh, see if we can pull ourselves out of this one. Uh, see, this tree looks pretty good. Uh, I want to go further if I can. All right, we'll just use this one. Can't use that tree. This should work for us. Unlock the differential, I think. Well, we should be able to just pull out. Okay, first. Oh, got the brake on. That's not helpful. Perfect. Good job, Mr. Winch. I think I just hit H and hide that. Yeah, there we go. Wow, okay. Um. Gotta be getting close. Good, looking good. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Not that way. I think I'll really need some signs. Oh, come on. Oh. That's uh, yellow over there. That must be the finish line. It is. Nice. Okay. Wow. Well, we didn't set any records. Um, uh oh, there goes our car. Didn't set any records, but uh, we finished it. We got 150 experience. We got $100. That's that is not an easy track, but the more that we race, the better we'll get. Wow. Okay. Cool. Now let's go back to our computer. Uh, can I just can I save the game? Oh. Okay. Go back to our computer. Back to our mail. And congratulations, Medley of Games. You have reached level three. You score one skill point. New tournaments for specific ride two. Excellent. And this one says, Congratulations, you have reached level two. You score one skill point. Awesome. 
All right, so uh, let's see. Wait, open your inbox. Oh, I gotta complete the job. Okay. I saw how you dealt with the old Nesson. Good job. There's also one thing. I interest you the off road. Oh, completed. There we go. Nice. We got a new message. How was the movie up to your first competition? Let me tell you. Over time, you can become addicted to it. Let me also remind you that after every return from a route, it's all it's a good idea to inspect the car and diagnose the damaged parts. Okay. All right. So we got to check for damage. All right. Uh, I think we okay. We read all those. Now to check our damage, uh, I think we just click on it and yeah, we hit R and this brings up this little scanner thing. We push this button here. Damage inspection. Make some progress. Open the skill tree. Um, okay, so we got a little damage. Front differential, rear differential, front axle, brake calipers. They're not horrible. They just took some damage. They're certainly not new now. All right, open the skill tree. So this is what I was talking about from the beginning. We now have four points to use. It takes three to unlock this, and I want the car wash because she is dirty. Move car to car wash. Okay, cool. So now then that unlocked this stuff. We can buy for fifteen hundred uh, storage in the warehouse. Workbench. I can buy for two thousand. I want to do that. I've got fourteen thousand. Yeah, let's buy that. And expand the storage. Um oil change. Use it using a drainer during oil change and a vehicle can help regain some of the engine's lost performance. Okay. So maybe we get jobs too. Well, I'm sure we do. I'm sure we get job. Why else would we need this? Um, okay, cool. And then the next upgrade is uh, rectifier for charging the battery, spring compressor, um, upgraded workbench again. Uh, okay, cool. All right, let's go check out our workbench. Oh, it's over here. Okay. I know I'm supposed to do the car wash. We'll do that next. Let's see. This is your workbench. You can perform three types of activities here. De-rusting, workbench level one, which is where we're at. Bushing replacement, level two, and advanced repairs, level three. To clean an item of rust, you must select it from accessories. You will then see markers indicating rusty spots. Hover over them with the cleaning tool, then hold left mouse and move the mouse to clean them. Repeat until the part is clean. That's cool, I like that. And then if a part has a bushing to replace, Select it from the workbench menu. Green marker shows where to hit the hammer. Oh, you knock them out with the hammer. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that, I'm impressed. That's really cool. And then the last one is uh, when you fully upgrade the workbench, advanced repairs. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. Okay. I said I knew there was more to this game than, than what I was showing in the first video. That's why I wanted to give it some more love. So our car is dirty. So we're going to go to our new car wash that we just installed. Nice, nice. I uh, don't know if that's functional. Parking spaces. To move vehicles between parking slots and workstations, you must press E on any spot on the floor. Then you will see a map of your workshop. Then you can click left mouse anywhere and select from the list of the vehicle you want to move there. If you select an occupied slot, the car there, there will be swapped with the new one just, new one just moved. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. We also got a new... Oh, yeah. We got a new slot. We got a new parking slot, a new lift, and another door that we can access. Very cool. All right. So we, we got a lot just with upgrading that, our first upgrade. All right. Let's check out the car wash. So we, can, we look at this and click E, the Nissan Watcher car wash. Or we can move it to our second slot if we wanted to. And then this stuff, of course, is all locked. Car wash. There we go. And there she is. Oh, we can go underneath. Awesome. This could be like power wash simulator, I'm guessing. To wash your car, move to the car wash and pick up the pressure washer. Located there, once you've done that, point it at the car and use left mouse to start washing. You can use you can use right click to highlight the dirt left in the undercarriage and body, just like power wash simulator. Very nice. Oh, I love it. 
you guys know I like Power Wash Simulator. And, okay, this is well done. We can right click and show the dirt. Again, like Power Wash Simulator. But, hey, I mean, I don't, I can't blame them for, for using that model if it works. Use it. And then it turns green when it's done. When that part is clean. Yes. I mean, hey, this game just took on a whole new meaning for me. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. I really am. See, it's still showing red down there on the tires. So we probably have to go down below. Down underneath this. Get that. Yeah, this is cool. Love it. Now, it's not quite as... Um, Quite as intense as Power Wash Simulator, I believe. I'm gonna get the the outside first, and we'll go below. Probably uh, don't have to get every little bit of cranny. And it's it's keeping track. See, we got 67% of the outside. Or, I'm sorry, we got 66% of the chassis. The body, we're at 24%. I love the little little sound though that when you get a part that's beautiful oh it goes down I'm so sorry we have seven percent dirt left on the body see how the number goes down okay I get it yeah swear for what seven percent what do I have left the body Gotta be something underneath, I guess. Six percent. All right, let's go down below. Oh yeah, we're at five percent of the body. <laughs> I love it. We're at zero, zero percent dirt on the body. Body is done. We're at four percent on the chassis. Oh, she's done. Zeros all the way around. Very cool. I'm so impressed with this game now. I'm loving it. All right, let's put this away. Now, what do we do? Um, oh, open her in a box. Okay, let's move our, move our Nissan. Nessen, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. I, I think I take, can I just click on this? Or do I have to go? There we go. Yeah, let's move it back here. To the parking lot. There she goes. Oh, can we actually? I wonder if we could actually walk up there and wash the top if we needed to. Or maybe it's just for looks. What? Oh, that's like a regular car wash over there. Oh, that come later? That's like an automatic car wash. How cool is that? <laughs> nice. Well, do well done, guys. Well done. I'm I'm impressed. All right. I hope I hope you guys are as impressed as I am. Now, let's see. This is let's see. Let's go check out the wait. What's this? This is more expansion. What's this? Can I move my car over here? Oh, this is the parking lot. Whoa. Hey, what's that? Just a part laying around? Okay, this is cool. This is huge. So, maybe you could put stuff here after you buy it, you know, and just, I don't know, you're just waiting around. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, I'm going to go back to the... Back where we started yeah this is cool man this, this 
This is a lot bigger than like Car Mechanic Simulator, from what I've seen. And then our warehouse, we gained storage here. I think we added more slots here. So, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just parts. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Basic parts. Um, I don't know if these are extra. I'm not sure what's going on. I think this is like stuff that's, oh yeah, we can sell it. I think these are, these are all parts that we replaced. Yeah. Now some of these we might be able to actually repair. Uh, let's go to workbench and press E to use. Like, um, can I take dirt level rust cleaning costs six six coins oh, okay I see um, but how do I did I get off I guess I did I guess when the little thing is gone, that means we got it. Okay. So that's clean. Oh, I got XP for cleaning that. Okay, cool. Um, part completely cleaned. Okay, I hit I. Okay, so we actually gain XP. Okay, I can't clean those. Wait, I can clean those. Cost 13. Alright, so I just clean this spot. Oh, I'm supposed to go in circles. Right? I'm not sure if I'm cleaning this right. Okay. It's gone. It worked. So this would be a good way to earn XP. There we go. Alright. It's clean. Got 25 XP. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like that. Alright, so we got to check out the workbench. Now let's go complete this job. Go to the mail. Um, open your inbox, complete the job. Okay, is it this one up here? Yeah. Alright, task completed. And we got a new email from Pablo Sahara. So you know the issue now. Could you help me a little? The rear part of my courier's chassis somehow makes strange noises while driving. I don't know much about cars yet, but a good friend of mine recommended you you to me. Could you take a look at, at it all and fix the broken parts or replace them with your with new parts? Sure. Alright, so we've got to repair the Toyota Ground Courier. Alright, we got a new car to look check out all right let's go over here and click on it and then let's let's uh check our damage damage inspection rear upper control arm rear upper control arm and rear differential okay so basically the rear and so whatever's what's in red that's what we'd have to fix all right cool so um i'll i'll save this job if you guys want to see more of this game i want to keep this more this it's just a demo but man there's a lot to this demo if you guys want to see some more i'll work on this car and show that to you and then I, we probably get to take it down the track after we're done with it but yeah i'm i'm really glad that i got a second look at this and i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this also seeing the full track completing it open the car wash uh we have a workbench and you know extra storage there's a there's a lot to this game i'm impressed i'm definitely uh will definitely probably be purchasing this purchasing this game when it comes out and and do a whole series on it because i really like it i i don't know there's something about it i i like it even better than car mechanic simulator and i'm not sure why i think probably the driving aspect the driving's a challenge that that track was not easy 
So, uh, um, yeah, um, I'm excited about this game. So if you guys like this episode, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one that subscribes. And thank you for watching, and come back and see me for more episodes and demos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.